So the last time you saw me, I definitely was not in a hoodie. Sadly, I am no longer in Punta Cana. I am home from my trip. And we're back to normal life, which means we're back to normal vlogs. Today's Saturday, and I kind of felt like bringing you guys along for the day. It's 12.30, so I'm starting this vlog kind of late. All I did this morning was clean my room, edit a video, walk my dog, and eat breakfast. It wasn't that exciting. Today, I'm going out to Canada Computers and Best Buy. Very exciting, I know. If you've been watching my vlogs, you've known that I bought a gaming chair, a gaming monitor, a gaming keyboard. Do I game? No. In my opinion, they're more ergonomic and cooler looking and light up in pretty colors. The mouse I use now is just like a tiny little wireless office one and it's starting to like really hurt my hand, which is just weird to think about, but it's not very ergonomic, it's not very comfortable, and it uses batteries so it's constantly dying. So I was like, you know what, I want to get a cool wireless charging gaming mouse. I saw a bunch online that I like. I either want the Logitech G4. 520 or something like that or the Razer Viper Ultimate something very fancy dancy names but I wanted to go to the store and actually like hold them before I buy it online so I know which ones will fit my tiny ass little midget hands and I was gonna go by myself but then my best friend Pat she's in midterm season right now so she can't hang out for too long but she wanted to come along for like a break and so we can catch up so I'm also gonna be giving her the gift that I got in the Dominican and I also want to show you guys all the souvenirs that I brought back for friends and family because they're actually they're kind of cool, I think. I didn't show it in any Punta Cana vlogs, so I might as well show it now. Souvenir haul time. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch those travel vlogs and then come back to this boring Canada, Ontario vlog. I guess I'll start with what I got for my parents. I got my dad the Mama Juana. This is one of the most famous Dominican Republic rums. I think it's rum. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, the back's in Spanish, but I'm pretty sure it's rum. Some type of liquor. We actually went to the Caribbean a lot when I was little. I just barely remember it. Um, but I also brought back some coffee beans because I swear to God, the coffee in Punta Cana or just in the Dominican is so freaking good. I can literally smell through the bag and it's so good. Oh my God, I literally went to the coffee shop every single day when we were on the resort. Now I'm sad because I'm thinking about all the coffee I didn't get to try on the menu. I think I tried at least half the menu though. Oh, coffee in the Caribbean, so freaking good. I'm literally sad thinking about it. For my grandparents, I found them this really cool handmade wooden Harley Davidson style bike. Both my grandparents are not only Mustang obsessed, but they're Harley obsessed. It has the like Harley logo and it looks exactly like his bike which is so cool it literally has a kickstand that goes in and out and you can turn the wheel I also got this magnet for my aunts it says Punta Cana and there's like a beach and some huts and stuff my aunts always like to collect fridge magnets of different locations so I thought I would surprise them and carry on their tradition and get them a fridge magnet from Punta Cana we also picked up some Dominican chocolates for my aunts and Evan's aunt and uncle and cousin we picked up two different flavors Flavors, the dark chocolate one and just normal chocolate. We also got like a million of these necklaces every time there were a lot of like salespeople, but we got a lot of these free. Okay, they're kind of tangled right now. There's only three in my hand, but I literally came home with eight. I'm kind of just giving them to people because I have so many. It kind of looks like a tiki and like they're hand carved and stuff. My mom took three. I'm giving one to my cousin, one to my friend, and also one my other friend and then one is also Evans so for my best friend Pat who I'm seeing later today when I went to the Philippines I got her a rope bracelet that said Philippines so I thought it'd be cute to get her another rope bracelet from Punta Cana and make it like a low-key tradition that I always bring her one it's in this really cute pink color and it's leather imprinted right there I actually got one myself in white. Some guy gave this to Evan to give to me for free, so that was pretty cute. Um, this is what mine looks like, and it's just in white. And I'm also giving her one of the chocolates and one of the cute necklaces that we got. Evan got a spoon for his grandparents. They have like a huge spoon collection. Oh, also, don't mind my nails. I've literally just been picking off the gel polish, which I know is really bad for you, but it's also very satisfying. His grandparents have a huge spoon collection, so when we saw this, we knew we had to get them one. It just says Punta Cana with some dolphins. I also got this for my aunt and my cousin. It's another one of these adjustable bracelets. And then I got this bracelet for my aunt. This is like the National Dominican Stone or something. At least that's what the guy on the beach told me. Bought these on the beach. 
Next is for Evan's sister. I picked out another one of these rope bracelets. Are you even surprised at this point? This one is in purple. I also found this really cute shot glass. I thought the ombre was pretty cute, but it has this lizard and it says Punta Cana. And then we got this for his mom. This actually weighs a lot and I'm surprised my suitcase was not overweight. His mom loves plants and planting and gardening and has plants all over the house. So I told Evan we should try and get her like a cute, like authentic type of pot or planter. So we found this one. It is handmade and hand painted. Painted, and I think you guys can see but it's like textured it says Punta Cana at the top but it's spelled with two N's which is really weird I've never seen that before and then I googled it and I think some people there spell it with two N's last thing this is for my friend Jalal I think I'm also gonna drop it off at his house today his birthday was in August and I kind of forgot to get him a present so I got him this I attached another one of these tiki necklaces to it. It's this cute little kit with a mini Mama Juana, which is the same alcohol that I got my dad. And then it also comes with a Dominican cigar. Evan and I also picked out this snow globe, which is like really very Canadian of us to be like, oh my god, snow. I always like the idea of always getting something of the same souvenir type whenever you travel. I used to collect coins when I was a kid from everywhere I traveled, and then I don't know where they are anymore. But Evan and I decided to make it our tradition that everywhere we travel we're gonna get a snow globe so in our future home we can like display them and it'd be really cute it has two little turtles on it it says punta cana and like a beach theme all around uh yeah it's quarter to one right now i told pat i'd pick her up at one i would only make it there if i left right now at this very second and drove 10 over the speed limit hopefully you can tell from the enthusiasm of my souvenir haul is that i love gifts i love gift giving i don't know, like gift giving is like literally my favorite thing in the whole world um, and I should probably, let me check my phone. Oh, hi, Stitch. Are you breaking into my room? Come on. Come on. Open the door. <gasps> You're so good. Got anything to say? <laughs> Stealing my dad's car while he's at work and he has no idea. Now we're gonna race and I'm gonna kick her ass. Hey guys, um, it's me again. Guess who stopped vlogging yesterday? Me again. Um, hold on, let me start my car because I'm freaking freezing. Well, my plan was to literally only be out for like an hour, an hour and a half max, but. I was just talking a lot with Patricia and catching up. I haven't seen her in so long. And then I also dropped off my other friend's gift. Yeah, I was literally out for like three to four hours, which was not planned. And then I came home and watched Netflix. I'm supposed to have a productive weekend and edit like three vlogs and pick this all up and do a bunch of like brand deal emails that I am behind on and people are waiting on my reply. So that's what we're all gonna clam in today. It is 10.52 right now. In summary, I did go to Best Buy yesterday with Patricia. Um, they didn't have the mouse that I wanted, so I'm going to another Best Buy today to pick it up so I could buy it in store. I could buy it online, but then I'd have to wait for it to come in. I don't know why I don't want to do that. I just, <laughs> I just want it like now. And today, I'm really feeling a pumpkin cream cold brew so i think we're also gonna go to starby's on this outing why have i never done this oh my god yeah now i'm gonna be vlogging all the time when i drive because i get lonely and i love to talk when i drive oh 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 wow okay i just saw a guy on a really weird looking bike he was like laying down and he also crossed the road illegally <laughs> the goodies i'm gonna butcher this so bad but i got the razor basilisk ultimate wireless gaming mouse with charging dock and i also got an ergonomic laptop stand for work mostly just for my work laptop to help it ventilate better and to be more ergonomic oh uh, i feel like i throw that word around a lot as a, an excuse to buy things but also because i'm gonna need this when i go back to school literally next year but it'd be good for work too now i want to go and find a starbucks because i really want a pumpkin cream cold brew and i think my mom would like it if i brought her home some starbies also like 
Best Buy, I could literally spend easily two hours in Best Buy just looking at everything because there's so many freaking cool gadgets. And it's just so sick. Like, how do you not love Best Buy? I think Best Buy is probably one of my favorite stores and probably the store that I've spent the most money in. Either Best Buy or like Visions, but they kind of just fall under the same category. Just like electronic stores. Oh my god, literally, I don't care about clothes. I don't give a crap about the mall. I love Best Buy. It makes me so happy in there. The freaking, the serotonin is booming when I'm in there. And I love Best Buy. I could leave there all day. Pat and I spent so long in there just looking yesterday. So, huh, I could have stayed longer, but it's okay. Can I even make a left turn here? Well, we'll see. So it looks like I can make a legal left turn, so that's good. Otherwise, I just would have made an illegal left turn, so at least it's legal. I'm just kidding. I, I have a very, like, sarcastic, over-exaggerated sense of humor. So when I make legal jokes, like, I'm joking. I'm not just saying that for legal reasons. <laughs> I hate going into Starbucks so much. I try to either order online all the time or do drive throughs It's just always so busy in there. Pumpkin cream cold brew taste test. So good. So I'm gonna drive like this, holding this with one hand because I don't wanna empty my cup holders. So that's just the level of laziness I have reached. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I think we're gonna do a fun unboxing. Um, so yeah, I already showed you guys what I bought. I'm thinking if I really want to set it up today because I'm literally going to be working in my bed all day. I made that decision, like, Friday. I also got this package from Missouri, which is very pretty and very cool. And I wanted to open it. This video is not sponsored by Missouri, but I am doing a Instagram sponsorship with them. So this is the product that I'm sharing. Oh, that's cute. It says, fancy seeing you here on the box. Oh, that's a cute pouch. Oh, I love like reusable pouches like this. I use them for traveling all the time. This will be great to hold like chargers. Comes in this cute box. And this is the ring that I picked out. I don't have any like chunky thick rings. All of my rings are either silver or gold. So I saw this green one. I thought it'd be really cute. I got it in a size five. It's fitting pretty well. I think it's pretty cute. I should probably cut the tag off. Oh my God, Jesus, that was strong. Well, that's cool. So you can literally adjust it. You can tilt it up and down. It goes like three ways, basically. So it will literally just sit. Wow. Very cool. Very nice work setup. Hopefully my fan won't be that loud anymore. I liked this stand the most over the ones on Amazon because the vents were at the top and the bottom. For example, like my personal computer has the vents at the bottom, but other laptops have them at the top, like my work one. Yeah, now I actually really, really need to get my shit together and start answering some emails. I've been putting it off all week. And for those who don't know, November and December are the busiest brand times. I'm pretty sure it's like this for most like influencer people, YouTube, whatever, social media people, because brands are trying to push the most for the holiday season. I don't want my channel to be too brand oriented. Like I don't want it to just be sponsored video, sponsored video, da da da. But I also do want to grow my own brand and work with companies. So I need to get organized on all that and make sure I'm not accepting too many, only accepting ones that I actually want to work with. And I need to write them down because I feel a lot better when I write things down. <laughs> planning for the first three weeks November I can't show you guys all the dirty details but basically for the first three weeks of November I'm gonna be trying to post twice a week because I have like normal vlogs that I want to upload and also brand deal vlogs but I don't just want everything to be about like brand deals um and now I need to do some I don't really know what's called but I guess product selection because some brands when you work with them they also want to send you things to wear in the video or to review and promote so i need to do selections for two different brands of products i would like them to send me so i'm gonna do that here's stitch he's licking my bed i hate when he does that because then it makes the bed wet stitch can you stop thank you 
So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's kind of like fun online shopping, except not shopping, but like kind of shopping. Um, it's actually been a long while since I've vlogged. I have literally haven't moved from this position besides to pee and get food. I have been editing all day and since I'm using my old laptop, I was having a lot of technical difficulties. It was freaking going so slow. I was having trouble exporting. Ugh. Having trouble making the thumbnail. This thing is literally so old. Look at Darth Vader just taunting me. So it took a while just to edit the first video and then I started the second vlog which I'm probably about like just a quarter done but I'm honestly really tired of editing um, and I've worked tomorrow morning. So I think I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weekend chill vlog of me just basically showing things and doing things. I guess that's kind of all what vlogging really is. So I succeeded. So I'm gonna go eat some vanilla ice cream and watch Netflix in my PJs. Good night.